Here's what's coming up on Beacon Retirement Strategies. Retirement can be a 20 plus year round trip, like a vacation, mm -hmm. but it's a lot more important and it's a longer time and we don't have a written plan for that. It doesn't make sense to me and so people need a plan. So if you're in a 24% income tax bracket and you have about $80,000, let's say, before you go into the next bracket, you could convert up to $80,000 and not increase your marginal tax bracket. You may not want to do that, but that's one way of actually looking at that. But planning for tax-free income for the future, very, very important. You can have moderate or conservative growth, and you can have high growth, depending on your circumstance, risk tolerance, and so on. People need money. Asset class diversification is what they need. And now the hosts of Beacon Retirement Strategies, Pete Benson and John Maxson. Hey guys, super excited for this week's show. Yes, we have 30 minutes of power-packed information just for you. So don't go anywhere, the show starts right now. Hi, and welcome to this week's Roundtable. John, I'm going to begin with you today, and we're talking about income planning, but not just income planning, because I think there are a lot of advisors that could conceivably help you with that. I'm talking about a written income plan. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Well, you know, when people first retire, or when they get close to retirement, they'll come into our office, and the three basic questions that they have begin with, what do I do about Social Security and Medicare? Those are usually the first two. And then once I stop working and I'm not getting a paycheck and I've got to get my paychecks from my investments, how do I know that's going to be a consistent paycheck? And you know, if there's someone that comes in that's already with another financial advisor, I'll typically ask them to show me the written plan and they, they look at us and Pete will t tell you this like we're crazy mm. because it, it doesn't exist. Well, then my next question would be, well, if your goal is to take out $75,000 a year of income, how do you know you can do that? And the typical response is, well, my advisor told me I can. Mm. Well, that's opinion. That's not a plan. And so what a written income plan is, is where we're loading in and we're modeling. We build a case study for every one of our clients. Uh, all of your guaranteed income sources like Social Security and pension, and we account for inflation on that. And then we use realistic return objectives on your investments to make sure that we're filling what's called your income gaps. An income gap is just simply the difference between what it takes to support your standard of living monthly and what you get from guaranteed sources. So if your standard of living is $5,000 a month and Social Security and pension brings you $3,000, you've got to come up with $2,000 a month and that's going to go up every year for inflation. And so we will model that out and we use things like principal protected money and things of that nature to make sure that what we're doing is we're eliminating as many of the risk as possible to make sure that regardless of what the economy does, that you're going to have the income that you need, not just today, but three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, to support your lifestyle. You know, it seems to me, Pete, like if you, you either have a basket of money or you have an income plan. Right. Because income is the basis of retirement. If you don't have the income plan piece worked out, you just have a basket of money. Is that a fair statement? Well, it is. And, you know, if I order a bookshelf for my office, there's a sheet in there that has a plan. I can't follow it very well, but how to put that bookcase together. And so you follow the plan, you put the bookcase together. If you go on a vacation for a week, there's a plan. Get to the airport at this time, fly from, you know, on this airplane to get to this city and stay at this place. And this is how you're going to get from the airport to your hotel. And all those things are mapped out. It's a written plan. And yet retirement can be a 20 plus year round trip like a vacation, mm -hmm. but it's a lot more important and it's a longer time and we don't have a written plan for that. It doesn't make sense to me. And so people need a plan and they need to have something that they can follow that's written and shows them not a hope so or a maybe or I think so or just a prayer. I believe in prayer, but hey, I want a plan for retirement that I can pray about afterwards. Uh, you need both. And so having a plan is so vital and most people have just accepted that, well, I guess you can't get that, but yes, you can. John, I, I got about a minute to wrap this up here. 
when we talk about it in 20 or 30 years, it does seem daunting mm -hmm. to put something together like that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't need to be daunting, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When you put this plan together, you calculate on an annual basis, mm -hmm. right? These are your needs, this is your budget, these are the things that you have. You, for lack of a better term, you hold mm -hmm. someone's hand. Mm -hmm. You hold a family's hand through the process so that they know this is going to work for me. Sure. Like, for example, I had uh, a client that came to see me recently that wanted to know if they could retire. They had an, an opportunity to take an early buyout and retire. And I said to, to this client, I don't really know. Now, we handled their personal investments, but the largest part of their assets was with their 401k that we couldn't manage for them because they were too young. Mm -hmm. And so I told the client, I said, I don't really know until we model that for you. And so we modeled that for them and did our case study and our plan. And we sat back down with the client and said, look, if you're willing to make a couple of tweaks, they had a vacation home that had a large mortgage, then you could probably take this buyout and you'll be okay. If you're not willing to take your to change your lifestyle a little bit, then you probably need to work two or three more years because if you don't and you maintain the same lifestyle, when you get to be 84, you're gonna potentially have an issue with income. Well, if I'm 54 and I'm gonna have an issue when I'm 84, I'd rather know about that mm -hmm. on the front end when I can make informed decisions. The easy thing to do as a financial advisor would be, yeah, just go ahead and retire. I'll go ahead and handle that big 401k where I make money, and we're not gonna worry about what happens to you when you're 70 or 80. That's the wrong thing to do for people, and the only way you know whether you're gonna be okay or not is to have a plan and to model that out. John, Pete, thanks so much. If you want more information, give us a call in the office or go to our website, and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies, Nashville's retirement television. You know, John, one of the things I love hearing around our office from clients is that they love the full service, comprehensive approach that we have. Well, it's been a game changer for our clients and for prospective clients because they can come to one place and meet with all these guys. Yeah, I've found that clients find a lot of value in the estate planning area. Having the opportunity to meet with a tax professional or a financial professional all in the same room most of the time. It allows us to set up a more thorough plan for them. And they have a lot of questions about health care in that too, Dan. Uh, now that we have Frankie in the office doing health care, he can do Medicare, he can do standalone plans. If you want to retire before the age of 65, that's complicated. Yep. There's some great plans out there. A lot of people don't know there are because it's too complicated. Now we have one person in house that can really research all of those who's fully independent. You know, the number one thing I'm asked when people come in is what is a tax efficient planning strategy and what I talk to them about is how do you get some tax-free assets whether it's Roth conversions, uh, Roth IRAs, other ways of getting tax-free assets. What we're trying to do is make sure that people are able to keep more of their hard-earned money. How would you like the opportunity of being able to sit around a table in one office and be able to have help all in a good comprehensive plan for taxes, health care, income, estate planning, investments, and all of that. Well, guess what? You can at Beacon Capital Management. Give us a call. We'd love to be able to meet you and help you in any way that we could. 615-436-6000. Give us a call. All of us would love the opportunity to be able to help you and your family. What can Retirement Analyzer do for you? Retirement Analyzer is a software tool that can help you prepare today for your financial future. You've worked hard to save for your retirement, but as you near your retirement, you may have concerns. Have I positioned my retirement savings wisely? Have I saved enough for retirement, and will my savings last throughout my lifetime? What impact could inflation have on my future expenses? What if I suffer a long-term illness? Will I have enough money to cover my medical care expenses and still be able to meet my other financial obligations? Could changes in the income tax rates disrupt my retirement strategy? There's no need to be in the dark as you prepare for your retirement. Retirement Analyzer can help you find answers to all these questions and more. The first step is providing us with information on your financial assets, the type and current value of those assets, as well as your sources of income. Then, we work with you to identify your expected expenses in retirement. This will include a discussion of the lifestyle you envision in retirement, travel, a summer residence, whatever you dream your retirement will be. 
We'll input the information you provide us into the Retirement Analyzer, and in a very short time, we'll have reports that show us the percentage of assets currently in high-risk vehicles, as well as the percent in lower-risk products. Retirement Analyzer enables us to project your income from year to year in your retirement and see how long your retirement savings may last. As we change the conditions of the report, delaying your retirement date, including costs for long-term care, adjusting the expected tax rate, or adjusting your retirement strategies, we can see how changes in these variables may impact your income in retirement and the longevity of your retirement savings. Let the Retirement Analyzer help you test drive your retirement strategy today, because the time to discover the bumps in the road is not once your trip through retirement has begun. Contact our office today to schedule an appointment for your Retirement Analyzer review. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies, Nashville's Retirement Television. Hi, and welcome to this week's AskBeaconNow.com, where you email your questions into us. We answer them right here on the show. John, my first question is from Brad in Mount Juliet, and he writes, John, is there a formula we can use to calculate if converting to a Roth is right for us? Well, you know, Brad, that's a, that's a great question, and that's going to be uh, something that's going to be unique and different for everyone. But depending on what your ultimate goals are for the future and your age, those are factors that you want to take into consideration. But anything you can do, including Roth IRAs or Roth conversions, towards your future income to make it more tax efficient, in this case, make it tax free, could be significant towards reducing taxes throughout your lifetime. And one of the ways, it's not an exact formula that you can look at that, is what your current tax bracket is and how much room there is within the marginal rate to convert a certain amount of money that you may have in deferred accounts and still maintain the same income tax bracket. So if you're in a 24% income tax bracket and you have about $80,000, let's say, before you go into the next bracket, you could convert up to $80,000 and not increase your marginal tax bracket. You may not want to do that, but that's one way of actually looking at that. But planning for tax-free income for the future, very, very important. You know, and just to piggyback on that, John, it's kind of a limited window right now to, to really take advantage. Talk about that for a moment. Yeah, so when we got tax reform uh, recently, the individual rates are only through 2025. Now, will they maintain them after that? Maybe, but more than likely they won't just because the national debt mark is so high. So anything you can do now through 2025 could be significant towards your future. And tax planning, good tax planning takes time. My next question is from Linda in Hermitage, and she writes, John, I, have an, uh, I heard an advisor on the radio talk about stress testing my portfolio. What does that mean? Yeah, so Linda, that's a great question. It's an important question to consider now as the market has had the last decade, it's just gone up. We just passed the first decade in the history of the United States stock market that we began the decade and ended it without a recession. Now, that's not to say that we have an imminent, imminent re recession. However, the market is really, really high. So a stress test is essentially gonna show you how much risk you have right now with what you're holding. And so if you had more risk than you were comfortable with at the high of the market, you may want to consider reducing that before we have a correction or a recession. So you need to know what that means for you and your family. John, thanks so much. And I wanna thank Brad and Linda for those wonderful questions. Hey. You have questions, you want answers, send them in to us. Go to askbeaconnow.com. We might answer them right here on the show. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Your tax tip for this week involves election year considerations. 2020 is an election year, and as such, it's important for all of us to be informed about the various proposals that have been floated by the can candidates. President Trump's proposals and ideas include making the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act changes permanent. Remember that under current law, the individual changes sunset December 31st, 2025. He's also proposing a middle class rate cut. One specific idea floated is to reduce the middle class tax rate from 22% to 15%. There's a common theme around among the Democratic front runners, and that's to increase tax rates for individuals and corporations and reduce the estate tax exclusion significantly. Here are some other items that are being discussed. Former Vice President Biden is campaigning on the following. 
to eliminate the limit on earnings tax on Social Security and also a limit the basis step up for the estate tax. Senator Warren has floated ideas such as a wealth tax on net worth exceeding 50 million and Senator Sanders is proposing to eliminate the preferred rate on dividends and capital gains for incomes in excess of $250,000 as well as adding a financial transactions tax on items like stocks, bonds, and derivatives. As you are doing tax planning to ensure you are paying the lowest amount of taxes possible, I believe it's important you're aware of the proposals that are out there. Please consult us at Beacon to talk about that and how that might impact you. That's your tax tip of the week. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies, Nashville's Retirement Television. It's your retirement. How will you live it? How will you be remembered? Will you be able to take me on vacation? Will you be there for my ball games? Will you teach me your values? Will you be able to play with me? Oh, help me go to college. How will I remember you? You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies, Nashville's Retirement Television. Hi, and welcome to this week's Retirement True or False. Gentlemen, I have some great questions for this week. John, I'm going to begin with you. The stock market is the safest place for investors to put their money. True or false? Well, that would be false. However, we do believe people need to have at least some of their money in the stock market. But if you're retired, you need to start reducing your risk and focusing more on income. And one of our core philosophies is that we believe that some of your money needs to be principal protected, but getting a reasonable rate of return. And when you think about the stock market, people are somewhat euphoric now because the market continues to go up. And of course, that's a very good thing. However, the United States just finished the first decade that we have ever gone through from beginning to end without having a recession. That's never happened before in the history of the U.S. stock market. The market's hit an all-time high. Another fact that a lot of people don't know right now that they need to be aware of is that consumer debt, not our country's debt, consumer debt is at an all-time high right now. And that actually drives 70% of the U.S. economy. So sooner or later, spending is going to have to slow down and folks are going to have to pay for debt. Now, we don't know when that, that point comes, but you don't want to be caught as a retiree with too much risk, too much money in the stock market when a correction does come. You know, I think this is one of the interesting distinctions about Beacon is that you're big believers in money should be in a variety of different products. Mm -hmm. It's not all in one place yep. where maybe other companies feel like all your money should be here or all your money should be here. You do a comprehensive plan to make sure we have a little bit here, some there, some there, some here. A lot of people have diversification in the stock market, but what about asset class diversification where some money is principal protected, some is really focused on income, and other is focused on growth? And you, even within the growth, you can have moderate or conservative growth, and you can have high growth, depending on your circumstance, risk tolerance, and so on. People need money asset class diversification is what they need. And, and maybe my favorite piece about this is that it's all written down. Right. You write it out for everyone. There are no questions what's gonna happen next year or the year after or the year after. It's all written out for you, right? That's correct. You know, what you wanna do, you can never give 100% guarantees to yeah. everything, but what you wanna do is as much as possible answer the questions that are out there and bring a level of confidence that you've got a plan that when the market goes up, and it will, and when the market goes down, and it will, that whatever your retirement lifestyle is, that you're gonna have the income to support that. And that's where a plan for the ups and downs of the economy and the market is so vital. Mm -hmm. Pete, my next question is for you. Mm -hmm. And it is, most investors have read the prospectus that comes with their mutual funds True or false? I would say most have not read the prospectus, okay? It's a great read, by the way. Yeah, I'm, it's, I it's know. really a fantastic. Yeah. Throw read. your sleeping pills away That's and start it. reading that is from it. Uh, beginning to end. Um, no, they have not read them, unfortunately. And uh, they're not also given a lot of information sometimes. It's just, hey, I've got this, just trust me. And, you know, and, and their advisor puts them in all kinds of things and it may not be at all what they want. And so you also need to make sure you're working with an advisor who will take the time to educate you. Mm -hmm. 
that will give uh, answers to your questions and help you understand. Sometimes uh, clients will say, hey, we've met several times. I obviously trust you. Just put my money, you know, where you think we should. And I say, yeah, but it's very important to me that you know. So I'm going to take the time and you have to listen for me to really help you understand exactly what we're doing because it's important that you know. It's important that you understand at least the general idea of the investment. So again, unfortunately our industry has made literature and information not very reader friendly and not very consumer friendly because there's so much legalese and regulation and everything. That's one of the things I've lobbied for for a long time is, is there a way to really let people know what the risks are but hey, let's use language they understand so they know and can make good decisions based on that. Pete, John, thanks so much. Great topics today. If you'd like more information about anything we spoke about, give us a call in the office or go to our website. And don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Welcome to this week's Master's Money Moment. Today's topic is about legacy. Uh, Jane Bryant Quinn said, you own stuff, you will die, someone will get that stuff. But it wasn't she that said it first. Actually, way back in Proverbs 13, 22, it reads, A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So, why does that relate to what we help people with every week in our office? Well, it's really hard to live your life in such a way, never seen anyone do it yet, where there was only a nickel left in the account and they died. You're going to leave a legacy. You're going to leave an inheritance of some kind. If it's not money, it could be a house, it could be other prized possessions or whatever. And so planning for that is very, very important. So your legacy is not the amount of money that you leave, it's your life. But there are possessions that need to be planned for. That's why at the Beacon office, one of the pillars of having a true financial plan is legacy planning and making sure that you plan for the money that, and the stuff that you're going to leave behind. So again, it's all about planning in advance or some, for something that's a certainty. So for today, that's the Master's Money Moment. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies, Nashville's Retirement Television. Having no clear retirement plan is a mistake I see a lot in my financial planning office when I meet with someone new. It is extremely rare that someone comes in and has a clearly defined income plan for his or her retirement. One way you'll be able to get a clearly defined income plan is to talk to an independent financial advisor who specializes in retirement planning. Not someone who is specialized in getting you to retirement, but someone who is dedicated to getting you through retirement. If you don't have a clear retirement plan, then be one of the first five callers and you will receive a free complimentary planning review. There's no obligation, no cost if you have at least $200,000 saved for retirement. Here's what you'll receive, a free report to sort through your current fees, a tailored plan to help protect your investments, a tax analysis to reduce your tax liability and increase your cash flow to your family, and a custom income plan to support your lifestyle. So call now for your free, no obligation, Beacon Retirement Blueprint. This week we're going to be talking about who will handle your estate after you're gone. Ideally, at minimum, you have created a last will and testament that names someone as your executor. The executor of your estate, also called a personal representative, manages, manages your estate through the probate process. They handle tax bills, debts you hadn't paid off, and other matters affecting your estate. The executor also oversees the disbursement of your assets to the beneficiaries. Most people nominate their spouse or child as an executor, but you can choose anyone. However, the person you nominate is allowed to decline, so make sure you choose a backup or a secondary executor. If you don't name an executor before you die, the probate judge will choose one for you. That individual is called an administrator. Normally a surviving spouse, if offered, will be the administrator. If they choose to not serve, then it can be other family members. Due to the importance of the role of executor, you'll want to give careful consideration to who will serve. And that's your estate planning tip of the week.
Yeah, so I had the incredible uh, childhood experience of growing up on a dairy farm. There's so many things uh, that I learned from parents who had nothing more than a high school education but saw potential in their son. They always wanted me to go to college and to graduate, uh, never dreaming I'd be able to do the things that I've done. But hard work, integrity, uh, no quit attitude, loyalty, honesty, just all those things that my parents really instilled in me. A couple really quick stories. You know, when I was a 13 year old kid, um, I couldn't keep any money in my pocket. I'd spend it. And so my dad told me he was going to teach me to, to manage money. And I thought, well, how are you going to do that in this little rural country town and a dairy farm? And so my father bought me 100 chickens and made me pay for my own grain and, and actually harvest the chicken eggs and, and to wash them and establish my own sales route. And I did that for years and, and basically ran my own business. And years later, I thought about many of the lessons that I learned on that farm. And I also, in addition to that, had the incredible opportunity of growing up across the street from my grandparents. And so I spent a lot of time on the farm with them. Uh, my grandfather, to me, is one of the greatest men that ever lived. He actually had polio when he was a little boy. He's gone now. Uh, but his right arm was kind of shriveled up and he actually farmed it his entire life uh, with one arm and what he could do with one arm was just incredible. So just learning from them the value of hard work, integrity, honesty uh, are values that uh, when I got a little older I really began to realize the lessons that they were trying to teach me and it's impacted my life dramatically. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies, Nashville's Retirement Television. Are you worried that your financial strategy is missing something? Today's retirees and pre-retirees will need to utilize the services of a qualified legal and tax team, as well as a financial advisory firm. The professionals at Beacon Capital Management, Beacon Accounting and Tax Services, and Knight Legal are committed to being your comprehensive wealth and retirement planning solution. And here's the best part. All of these services are under one roof. That's right, let Beacon Capital Management effectively coordinate all of your retirement, legal, and tax planning needs. Our unique combination of licenses, registrations, and specialized education qualify us to work with a wide variety of investments. We can create a solution for virtually every retirement scenario, no matter how simple or complex. Call us today and experience the Beacon difference. Imagine all of your investment, tax, and estate planning questions being addressed around a single table. Call now for a complimentary retirement analysis. There's no cost and there's no obligation. As long as you have saved at least $200,000 for retirement, call us now and remember, at Beacon Capital Management, peace of mind in retirement requires a plan. You're watching Beacon Retirement Strategies, Nashville's Retirement Television. Guys, great show this week. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, and if you want to contact us, give us a call at the office or go to our website. And remember this, peace of mind and retirement requires a plan.